Good morning, students. Uh, welcome to the second part of job application letter. So, in our previous class, we had studied the format for writing down a proper uh, job application. Any job application is comprised of two parts. Number one, the cover letter. Number two, the bio data, which is also known as resume or curriculum vita which we call in short cv now what is a resume first of all we have to understand that a resume can be defined as a written summary of your educational qualification and experience today's globalist environment is great competition okay there is great competition in the job market therefore uh, before applying for a post you should know how to sell your skills right so your educational qualification your skill and experience must be mentioned in brief uh, so uh, the resume can also be understood as a persuasive document okay which must be written very carefully and also creatively in order to sell your talents okay the qualifications that you mention your experience much match with uh, the job requirements what is the demand of that specific job it must match the qualification as well as the experience and last but not the least resume must be written in a separate sheet not a continuation of the application letter now what should a resume contain actually there are three parts which uh, form a uh, together or all together form a resume the first one is personal information or details where you mention your uh, you know name age and date date of birth right and also your address contact number and so on secondly it should contain your educational qualification which is generally written in a chronological order and also in a tabular format right and the third part is the experience and your other skills and competencies that should be your uh, you know third part of the resume besides that there are uh, certain points which we need to remember okay number one your resume must provide sufficient information including your personal details like birth age address contact number and so on it must provide the educational qualification in a chronological order chronological means what comes first okay like your first exam that you appear that is HSLC then higher secondary then graduation and so on right it must include those courses which are applicable for the job or which presents you in a bright light right besides that your resume must also uh, state the nature of your experience your organization where you worked the duration and the nature of the duties that you performed if you have any experience right and the last but not the least references references of prominent people that is at least two or three must be mentioned now i will tell you where to use two where to use three suppose you are a fresher you are applying for your first job you don't have to mention three you have to mention simply two and suppose you are working or you have experience then you have to give the third reference now let's check out what should be the format of writing a bio data that I have shared in my next slide. So as you can see, there is a proper uh, you know alignment of the words how I have written on the top. It should always mention the title should be bio data. The first section comprising of your personal details like name, father's name, mother's name, birth, age, day, address, phone number, email and so on. And uh, have you mentioned or not but then this your name it's mentioned in bold letters or block letters the name of the candidate should always be mentioned in block letters not the other ones rest 
can be followed in running letters or normal way that you write so this is somewhere that you or many of you make mistake you never write your name in block letters this is a very essential part of your bio data okay you can as well add your gender and your nationality or even your caste in this part now coming to the second part your educational qualification what is the right way or what is the right table how you should present always draw a table okay and can you see it i suppose you can see it i have written in the first column name of exam the second one year of passing the next one board council and university from where you appeared subjects that you have taken class division and grade and last of all your percentage and see the chronology or order of the exams beginning with hslc secondly hsslc that is your uh, you know higher secondary coming to graduation it can be ba or it can be bac or it can be any other graduation stream and last but not the least post graduation that is your pg once you complete your graduation you uh, also do your pg in a certain jobs demand only graduation so in that case you don't have to add pg but then suppose you are going for a teacher's job then yes definitely you need a pg in a respective subject right okay now let's come to the third part of our cv the other qualification the skills additional qualifications besides having a pg suppose you have some diploma in other skills or other field that you have to mention what are the extra curricular activities you are involved in something that throws you in a good light in a proper light makes a positive impact upon your employer that should be mentioned if you have an experience that should be mentioned and if not you should simply write fresher okay this is the word that you use don't write zero years of experience rather you write fresher next references as i have mentioned if you have no experience just mention two uh, references suppose you have experience you have to mention three references right and last but not the least you have to mention declaration what is a declaration you are declaring you are taking an oath that whatever information you have provided it is correct and true and up to date to the best of your knowledge and suppose you have mistaken mistakenly written some wrong information provided wrong information then you are subject to be responsible all right so and yes signature place and date that shouldn't be forgotten i suppose you have understood this much thank you very much in case you have doubt feel free to contact me thank you